So this guy has been requesting stock Jaguar F-Type versus built Kia Stinger for like forever. I've seen him requesting it on other streams and we're going to go ahead and, and give him that because I know he's been requesting it over and over and over again uh, for a long time. So this is going to be Jag F-Type versus, uh, well, stock Jag F-Type versus tuned Kia Stinger. I've never featured a Stinger in any of these before. Hey, here comes Spark Train. Boy. That's awesome. And yeah, dude, um, yeah, you're welcome, bro. Um, let's see. View all. I'm gonna buy ourselves a stock F-type jag. Stock F-type jag. Um, let's see, where's Jag? Wait. Jeep Jag. There it is. F-type R coupe. Going to be an interesting car to see go up against a um, go up against a Kia. That's for sure. Um, I don't know why the tires were moving. That it's like a weird like it's like a weird glitch that happens sometimes with the Unimog. Since we're picking a stock color, um, ooh, that silver's really pretty. I like tastefully done silvers on cars. Like it just looks good. You know what I mean? It just looks so good. Hey, Tadpole, are you going to leave that caps lock on for the entire rest of the stream? You probably are, aren't you? You probably are, aren't you? He's like, yes. Yes, I am. All right. Off to go see what a stock F-Type V8 is going to do um, through the speed trap. Then we got to go get a stock Kia Stinger because I believe I have one in the garage that I've never touched. And so we can grab that and then... Um, and then we can, um, we'll see what it'll run. Car sounds so good. Wow, second gear is really close to first. Look at the baby wing on the back. Man, I wish this thing had cool shift pops because the real ones do. Yeah, it doesn't make any shift pop at all. The real one does, of course, but like this one, it's like, nah. I will say, if you ask for a factory car that's easy to drift, grab yourself a stock F-Type V8 and go to town because look at this, so easy. So easy. You'll even keep it up if you put it in fourth, which is pretty dang impressive, honestly, if you ask me. All right, we're going to launch this thing in second because first and second are so close together. And let's see what she'll do. Not terrible. Could have been better, though. All right, let's get those guesses out there in the chat. Come on, chat. One hundred and sixty-eight point nine miles an hour. So the Kia Stinger has one sixty-eight to beat. So basically, it's going to have to be like one sixty-nine or higher. So, back to the garage to grab a stock Kia Stinger, see what it'll run stock, and then see what it will run when tuned up to the same PI as the F-Type. It's got a bit of an odd sound to it. Like, they don't quite sound like this in real life. They sound a little different. At least the ones I've heard sound a little different. Oh, jeez. Oh, big back and forth. Let's go. Big flick. Not bad. 
Oh, that's it? Oh, really? You're not going to give me more than that? Come on. It will, but it just won't carry it on for a long time, you know? It does look very heavily based on the Charger. Like, um, I, I, I get that it's, um, I don't know. I, it, it definitely feels like it's based on the Charger. Um, but like, I don't know. It's weird. Um, it's, it's got like other looks from other cars too. It looks like they kind of drew inspiration from a little bit of everybody, a little bit of everything, you know? There's a hundred, come on! It's quick! One hundred and forty-nine miles per hour. So not too shabby. I'm actually pretty impressed. Um actually pretty impressed. It's it's fairly quick for what it is. So now let's go back to the um back to the house and see what it's got in it after a little bit of a build. Alright guys, sorry, I was reading the chat. So, um the Jag F type, we're gonna have to check its PI because that's what's gonna determine uh, how much we can upgrade this thing. And I'm thinking that we're going to be able to do like... Eh, right now we're in A715. So I don't know how much room we have. We'll find out. Where's my F-type? Oh, God. Did I lose my... F Wait. That stock? Yeah. 795. Okay, so 795. We don't have a lot of room, actually. Um, it's just kind of weird, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's one of those things where we might have enough room, we might not. Um, so first things first is going to be the power. Um, because I want to focus a lot of my efforts there first. Um, just so I can get that sort of done. Um, but let's see. Cams, turbos... 780. We're getting close already. 781. 781. 783. 786. Ooh. 788. God, we're not even like. We might not have the space. How much power are we making? 719. That's not bad. And let's do a. Race suspension. 793. Um, I remember it was somewhere around 790. Somewhere around 790. You know what I mean? Um, like, it's it's going to be close. Um, but let's see. It's Devin's like, oof, I, I spent 50,000 sparks here already. <laughs> Bro, it's like, I, I, I usually like things like that happen when people come around here. They, they, they throw sparks in that chat for some reason. You know what I mean? Um, so let's see. Uh, oh, we can't adjust the offset. Are you serious? Oof. Oh, uh, we don't have enough PI room for more tire either. That's annoying. We can only go up one size. Oh, that's annoying. All right. Well, I guess that's going to be what we're going to have to go with. Um, but that is going to be a that's going to be a build for this thing, and I don't know. Um, is it going to beat it? Maybe. Um, it probably can, but at the same time, I don't know. Hey, flashlight forty, the master uh, speed trap guy is back. You got to beat one sixty eight point nine. See what she'll do. It's quick! It definitely feels quick, but the sound is not inspiring at all. Ooh, I asked for a little bit more angle than it was willing to give me. But I forgot for a second that, like, oh, there's no angle kit on this car. It was like, eh, we're gonna spin. Oh, we're gonna grip. Now we're gonna spin. Oh, we're gonna grip. 
Oh, big yeet. There we go. Come on, easy, easy, easy. Oh yeah, it's actually super predictable. Super predictable. All right. Time for a proper speed run in it. Okay, so what do you guys think it is going to be able to do? Put those guesses in the chat now, because once we get halfway down, we're, I'm going to cut the guesses off. Not too shabby so far. There's 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 183 miles an hour. Nobody guessed it. Legit. Like, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. I am, uh, I'm fairly impressed. I'm fairly impressed with that. And I think, uh, I think you guys should be too. I think you guys should be fairly impressed with that because that's a fairly impressive performance um, from a fairly impressive car. Um, yo, thank you for the, uh, for the 10,000 sparks, uh, Awake Wise One. I appreciate it. 